You know who else has cooled off, Brian? Have you heard about this? Apparently, he needs to set an acetylene torch under his ass again. Our friend Shitstain, every, what is it, once every four to six months, issues some kind of desperate plea for attention or denies that he will ever accept a non-existent invitation to a Hall of Fame or you know, swears that he will never work for X company that has no interest in him whatsoever ever again. So people will talk. And normally we don't contribute to this unless it's something just that we can really make fun of that he said. Because he does every once in a while, he'll say something so stupid that it's it's fun. But normally we don't fall into this trap of uh, when he's, you know, pulls his pants down on the street corner and wags his tallywhack around and says, look at me, look at me, look at me. But he did it to somebody else to where that finally they've said, you know what, we, we're issuing a response. Did you see this when again he's trying to say that Vince McMahon got in touch with him and said wanted him to watch Raw for a couple of weeks, but he wouldn't do it for free. Did you see that, Brian? I saw, like you said, every couple of years, all of a sudden there's a slew of different ridiculous things that pop up. I did see this, yes. Well, this time, it, it made the the news that, you know, he's claimed that Vince got in touch with him. And, well, would you, pal, would you watch a few weeks of Raw? Well, I'm not going to do it for free. But he's playing hard to get. So finally, a, a basically a unnamed representative of the creative team i guess in wwe is that where we've been able to narrow it down they don't want their name attached to this for obvious reasons because it's publicizing the goof but the quote was russo has tried many different ways to get back into wwe he's called the networks as former head writer wwe and wcw and tried to get the networks to hire him as a consultant or get the networks to pressure WWE to hire him. He's called anyone he knows in WWE to get back in. He tries to position it to the public that he would never work here again, but he's begging every day to get hired. Am I wrong? Did he do that before? Was it Impact where he started contacting the network? Yes, yes, yes. That's what he does. And... uh, it, and and if they switch networks, he'll he'll find the phone number for the new one. It's a it, what do they call it? He's it's it's like deflection. It's sort of like oh, what old Donnie Dipshit would do. Everything he was guilty of, he would accuse somebody else of, and or swear that he would never do the thing that he was doing. That's what he does. And yes, that's that's one of the if if you can't get the wrestling promotion to hire you call their television station or network who probably knows a whole lot less about wrestling than anybody else and claim to be something that you aren't and tell them that they, you can fix all their problems. And, and then somebody has to tell them, no, please, this fucking gays don't feed, don't feed the puppy. He's homeless. That's the exhausting conversation right there. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, USA Network's online too. Oh no, what's going on? Yeah, we just got a email from some guy who says he's your head writer. Oh no, not this again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, and he is uh, still absolutely refusing any thought of induction into the WWE Hall of Fame. In, in related news, I have also refused... The Rock's many requests to, for me to help him get in better physical condition in the gym. I will not be doing that no matter how hard he begs. I will just leave this topic with this quote. Vince Russo is to booking wrestling what German Bukaki videos are to cinema. And I think pretty much every network and every wrestling company in the known universe has figured that out by now, but he... He's got to pay bills somehow, folks. Yeah, that's the thing. On one hand, I feel bad because people got to work. They got to make a living. On the other hand, we've seen the destruction his work has caused professional wrestling. But like I said, people do need the work. They do need to make money and bring home money. 
bring home the bacon. That's what they need to bring home. And and you gotta you gotta somehow pay for this. And when you're when you don't have any other talents, folks, you you got to find something to do. And I'll tell you, it wouldn't be a problem for old Vinny Rue if he was in another line of work because then we wouldn't have put up with him in wrestling. But I'm just wondering, what do you think, Brian? Would if he got into another line of work, would it be like? like what it is in wrestling where nobody understands a goddamn thing that he's saying or doing or writing. You know what? That's perfect. Vince Russo needs to get a job. And first he needs to go to code Academy because code Academy, the people at code Academy are going to teach you how to write code. And what is code code is stuff that nobody understands. And that's what Vinnie Rue's been writing for the past 40 years. He's a natural. And folks, if you'd like to learn how to write gibberish that nobody understands, that sooner or later, one of these days will help you either stay alive in a post-dystopian utopia or help you take over the world, and as we've mentioned before, run the thing with the approval of the lizard people, then you need to go to Code Academy. If you want to change your career, there's never been a better time to change whatever you're doing now to something else. And I think that's a blanket statement. It applies to everybody that's within the sound of my voice. Whatever you're doing, don't do that anymore. Do something else. We're living in a fast-changing world. And one of the best ways to succeed in it is to learn how to code. That way, if you and only your friends know the secret language, then you can speak to each other when shit goes to hell. Whether you're starting from scratch or looking to advance, Code Academy can help you reach your coding goals and... Over 50 million people, Brian, already know that Code Academy is the best way to learn to code. And they started, as we've mentioned before, with that guy Samuel Morse. He was patient zero. And then once he came up with the code, then more people started learning it. And now it's spread to 50 million people. And Code Academy are the leaders in teaching you job ready coding skills. And also, Brian, you've seen they can teach you. One complete course at Code Academy is all about taking magazines and newspapers and cutting certain words and letters out and pasting no, them that's... together on a piece of paper where you can send out a letter and nobody will be able to trace it to you. That's how good the code is. It's that is not. Secret. No, that's not what no. they teach you there. That's not what they teach you how to do. That's not even the way I don't think ransom notes are written anymore <laughs> in 2022. But what would I know? But you do not learn. That's not even a code. Well, shit, I, I spent the better part of three hours yesterday doing something. Now I got to do it again. All right, anyway, folks, you can learn at your own pace and get qualified for in-demand jobs. You can choose what to learn from building basic websites to artificial intelligence to one of those sex robots. They've got a whole course on how to build the sex robot. And a sped don't, I'll tell you one thing, do not no show and skip class the day they talk about the suction device. If you don't get that one right, you're in a world of hurt. Folks, no matter what your experience level, you're going to be writing real working code in minutes in languages like Python, Hitomulsis, Squall, and JavaScript, and other languages such as Bavarian and uh, Polynesian. If you're not sure where to begin, like me, Code Academy will point you in the right direction. As a matter of fact, one of the hazing rituals at Code Academy for the young cadets is they'll put a bag over your head, spin you around three times, and point you in a direction. And wherever you end up, you got to find your way back. You can take Code Academy's programming personality quiz to get tailored career advice and course recommendations. That's what you need course recommendations after they've spun you three or four times and shoved you. You're just fucking, you're walking recklessly and attempting to fall is what you're doing. You can get instant feedback, like, watch out, there's a hole. And your code is tested as Ridiculous. soon as you submit it, so the police will be notified if you reveal any secrets that can incriminate you in a court of law. Build your portfolio and get a certificate of completion to make yourself more marketable to future employers, or just frame it and hang it on the wall so girls will think you're smart. Folks, you today can land your dream job in web development, programming, computer science, data science, animal husbandry, and tons more. Join the over 50 million people 
learning to code with Code Academy and see where coding can take you. Get 15% off. That's a big sizable chunk of what you're going to be out on this thing. And it's it's you're you're going for a new career. So splurge, folks. 15% off your Code Academy Pro membership. When you go to codecademy.com and use the promo code experience, promo code experience at C O D E C A D E M Y dot com, promo code experience, 15% off. Code Academy, it's the best Academy <laughs> for you to learn to code. It's Code Academy. All right, you better stop that. We're going to have to start charging people extra for your singing, I think. Well, no, I've just written a jingle, so I expect to be compensated like like Steve Allen, somebody like that that's written thousands of songs. When they're playing that after I'm gone, make sure my estate gets the money. Like Steve Allen. Exactly. <laughs>